Hi, welcome to Art Makers on Exhibit. I'm your host, Allison Green. In Art Makers on Exhibit, we talk with artists who have their work on view in public exhibitions and discuss with them what that process is truly like. We know that being an exhibiting art maker is a highly individual experience. Not only that, it's a highly changing one. The technology that artists use to promote and to share their work is also ever evolving. Today I'm talking with fine artist Guy Richard Smith, who has quite a lot to say about the journey of an art maker through a changing New York and a changing art world. Here we are, Spring Break Art Show, and I'm here to find Guy Richard Smith's booth, and I think it's this way. Hi, thank you for joining us today. Absolutely, so good to be here, Allison. Can you explain to me a little bit, what is the significance of the viewer with your work and what is your relationship to the audience? So the audience is a, a real thing. Mm -hmm. um, and I think studio artists don't always necessarily have that relationship to the, art, to the audience. And I think it's a good lesson to learn, um, or at least one that was important to me is that when I see people come in here and they laugh, and I know that that just triggered a bodily response, is a thrill to me. So we know that you are self-designing an exhibit like this and that you're self-executing. Are you also kind of the primary curator of the space? Are you your own agent pitching your exhibition proposal? Well, I, I ultimately I did. I approached curators um, uh, and said, "Listen, I want to do this thing. Will you will you make will you help me make that possible?" They are were already admirers of my work, so I, they were like, "Sure." Um, Let's do it. So it was, it was, it was self-generated in that respect. Um, um, there's often uh, a lot of pressure to say no to things because they might be beneath you, mm. or they might not be um, uh, hip enough, or you know. And don't listen to that. When people tell you like a gallery isn't cool, or, or that no one really knows. Mm -hmm. In general, it's better to show your work and get the chance to show your work. Yeah. Um, and then move on from there, then to sit in your, have another reason to sit in your room. One thing that interests me about all these decades you've been working is that you've seen success in this sort of print era and you've also seen success in this digital era where artists are working and putting a lot of what they have online. Right. So can you tell me a little bit about your work and your following today and how that's changed with the internet? Well, it's, it's, a, it's a weird one because you, when the internet became very important, I almost had to start over. You know, Instagram has been, it's an incredible tool. I, I've been able to sell work through it. I, and if you build up an Instagram account, it sort of forces you to keep um, making work. And when you're super depressed or you don't have any ideas, you remind yourself like, oh, I gotta post something. Instagram is like, you're always wearing your Sunday best. Mm. And it shouldn't be a way to view your friends and how they're doing because it doesn't give you any of that information. But you can present yourself. And you can present yourself in your Sunday best. Every day. <laughs> you went from being an Art Students League student to being an exhibiting artist. I was very lucky uh, to be a kid who grew up in the city. And uh, I was, I think, only 11 years old and started going to Mr. Pelletieri's Saturday morning uh, life model classes. He spoke to me like I was an adult who wanted to learn how to draw the figure. And there wasn't any speaking down, there wasn't any kind of cozying up or like, oh yeah, you're doing great. <laughs> like, I mean, he was always supportive, I think, but it was, you know, you were here to learn how to draw and I felt like an adult mm -hmm. and that helped me try to compete with the adults mm -hmm. and um, it just meant a, a, a hell of a lot to me uh, and I, I still remember vividly um, those Saturday mornings. Guy, thank you so much for your time this morning. We're going to let you get back to the rest of your day here at Spring Break Art Show. To learn more about the artwork of Guy Richard Smith, 
check out the link in the description. And there you have it. The experience of becoming an exhibiting artist is just as unique as the work that you are making. Clearly, many paths lead to many destinations. What part of the journey would you say you're on now? And what do you see as your next step? Let us know right here in the comments. Once again, my name is Allison Green, and I am tuning in today from Spring Break Art Show here on Madison Avenue. I will see you next time. I've got to see the rest of this show.